Today is the day. The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. And I'm going to be honest. Did anyone else just find out that this guy is preservation? Because I did. Anyways, do we want to talk about how good this banner is first? I, I, I didn't realize. I hadn't been looking at any of the news or posts of this character. I haven't seen anything, I'm gonna be honest. From what I remember, uh, Serval just does more damage when she gets higher Eidolons, and then Lynx becomes like a buffer. So that seems pretty useful. Well, like I mentioned, I do have enough to get this character. Pretty much. Uh, Y'all see this? Yeah, so we're gonna be using all these, probably. Hopefully we don't use all of them, because, you know, it's better to save some up. But I mean, if we get them right away, it's kind of a shame because we don't get any of these four stars, really. I was also looking at this banner. And while obviously the five star would be amazing, I think this one is actually one of his better four star light cones. Yeah, because everywhere I see it's like, oh, you can use these two or you can use this one, which is better. But you have to pull for this one, so... I'd like to get it, but I don't know how, how worth it it is. I'll probably hold off on this, but my greed might take over. So we'll see about that. Anyways, uh, without further ado, I guess we can just roll for him, right? There's no point in waiting. I'd like to use this whole episode to kind of just build him and grind for materials, right? That, that would probably be the smart decision. <laughs> we can look at him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean he looks cool. I don't know what he does, really. I'm I'm going to be honest. We're going to have to kind of figure it out as we go. But, ah! Alright. Here we are. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I actually want to stall a li little bit longer. How much pity are we at? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I forgot I was gone from this game for so long. Oh, no. Anyways, I'm going to assume we're at zero, even though we're probably not. Ten! Anything? No? Alright, well. Shows we're not at 80 at least. Yeah, alright, so we want either Lynx or Serval. Honestly, I have not been using Lynx at all. I would like to in the future, because obviously we need the whole two teams. Luicha isn't going to be able to heal them both by them by himself. And Serval obviously is one of my main front runners, so obviously getting her to be stronger would be really useful. Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks good. I believe I currently have her at E3 with this one. Yeah, yeah, with this one, it's E3. We like three more. This one is pretty good. It will always apply shock. And then this one will just do more damage overall because everything will have shock most of the time. So, yeah. All right, 20. Uh, maybe. I don't think we're guaranteed right now because I know last time I got a... Fushuan on on accident. Landau's choice. I actually don't know if this one's good for adventuring. I'm gonna have to look more stuff up later. Okay, just one there. Where he's more likely to be attacked and damage taken reduced by 16. I'm not sure if this is the right one for him, honestly. I don't recognize this from any of the websites I've been looking at. Like I said, uh, to be honest, I just found out he was preservation like a few, I don't know, days ago probably. I started leveling up this weapon for him because apparently it seems like it could be good. I I decided to hold off on leveling it up too much, even though I did get a few materials. Just in case I did decide to go for that other banner weapon. Alright, well, 30? I'm still in my reserve of tickets, man. I haven't had to break into my stellar jade pile. Oh, another servo. This is looking good. E4? Someone else. We got her first, so our pity should be fresh on four stars. Bit more likely to get one later on here. Or not, guess. Alright. Guess I'm just wrong. That's fine. Uh, 40? 40, yeah. Alright, this will be our first dip into our stellar jades. It's okay, though. Honestly, I mean, obviously, I would like to win the 50-50, just so I'm not wasting too many stellar jades. However, if we do lose it, we get a standard banner 5-star, and then we have a chance of getting Jepard, <laughs> and I know he is good. Alright, cool, Lynx, we take those. Prefer her over Luca for sure. Okay, this is 50. 
assuming we start at zero, obviously. Another Lynx. Okay, that that's good. Is that E2 or E3? If it's E3, that'd be pretty nice, because I know we get a free Lynx, and we'd like to get her at, ideally to at least E4. Misha. There's like a new character now. Uh, I don't even think he was on the banner. Oh, well, hey. Can't use him, but at least it's a free wish. <laughs> nice. Uh, 60, I think. I always stop counting after after a certain point. Oh! Oh! There it is. Okay. Uh, I'm not really that stressed out, obviously, because I know I'm guaranteed regardless if I don't get him here. So I guess we're just gonna hope for the best. Links again. Nice. Uh, I believe this is at least E3. I don't remember if I had one beforehand or not, but this is guaranteed e e E4. Nice. Ooh, that kind of... Ooh, that kind of hurts. Uh... Okay, okay, that's fine. Can we get it back to back? Maybe? No? Please? Yeah, okay, well, that is a... That is a shame. Oh my god. <laughs> let, 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 let's see. With the wishes that I have... Oh, hey, look at that. Just with the ones I've earned myself... I have 79, which is already breaking into Soft Pity. I don't think we're going to have to break into our other stash of the of the shards. These things. That that would be useful just in case a future character comes out and I choose to drop the game for another six months. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So this is a bit more than 10. Again, if we came early, that'd be amazing. Give me more servals. No, not quite what we're looking for. Uh, well, shame. 20. Oh, another Lynx. Should really look at whether whether it is E4 or not. I want to say this is E4. Okay. 30. I don't know if this one's good. I think I might have used it back in the day. I mean, I mean, the way it's Hunt. My Yancheng already has the five-star one, so... Doesn't really affect us too much. I'd like a Harmony character. I I know we don't have one of those. But Preservation's good as well. Can provide a lot of shields. Kind of actually, not necessarily as a complete replacement to Lua Chop, but it's definitely helpful. What I'm a bit worried about is if I take my current team, I'd probably have to replace Hook to put a Venturian in it. Oh, hey, look at that Serval. Nice, this is amazing. I'd probably have to replace Hook in order to put a Venturian on my main team. And then that might lower our damage output. I don't know how adventuring works necessarily. As far as I know, he could be like a sub DPS, but I highly doubt it considering he's a shielder. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Uh, guys, I stopped keeping track. I think we're at 40, 50, one of those two. I'm going to stop counting. Man we're, man, we're using a lot of jades. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. That's also kind of a shame. Damn, we're we're getting really unlucky with these bulls. I think at least a few times we, we get double four stars. We're not getting anything. My god. 50 or 60. Oh man, I said I would stop counting. I gotta I gotta stick to, true to my word. Oh, Lynx. Nice. We're close to maxing her out, I think. And then a Luca, which we don't need. Give me a serval. Please. Nope. Okay. Let me just cut. Let me just confirm this really quick. <clears throat> so our Lynx is at E5. Our Serval is at E5 as well. We need one of each and we should be good. I can get two Servals. That should be fine because like I said, we get a free Lynx with, uh, I believe it's somewhere around here. Unless it's no longer here. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, we get a free Lynx. So that's nice. How many are we at? That's 79 to start with. So this is 60. Okay. All right, this is 60. <laughs> We're not going to get it with these 79. We're going to get to like 79 pity. And it's going to be like, <laughs> you must use your 80th wish. I don't have one. <laughs> Wait, I don't need you. I think I already have like two of these. I don't need this. <laughs> Come on, at least a serval. Oh, wait. Uh, I need one more wish. Uh, hold up. 
No way, that was that was 17. I am not good at counting. So with this I can probably um convert these into some wishes, right? Can I can I do math? Probably not. Need 45 of them. 45 and then we can get this last wish. And then these pulls will be 80. Hopefully getting us that five star. Cause it is 80 and a little bit. There we go. Okay, we got him. We're good. We didn't have to go into our stash of shards quite yet. And there he is. <laughs> Welcome home. Now I need to learn how to build you and how you work. Can I get a serval? Please, just one. Preferably two, but just one. <laughs> That's not who I needed. Now the free lakes is gonna go to waste. Ah, uh, I don't even want to pull anymore. Ah, uh, dude, this is why. Like, I would like to get this weapon, ideally. Because I heard it's good for him, but I used literally all of my jades. So in order to do that, I would have to go into these, which I really don't want to do. What do y'all think? I'm gonna let you guys decide before just pulling on, on this banner. Is getting this weapon for adventuring really that worth it? Because if it is, I'll do it. At least a few pulls, maybe, maybe like 20 or 30. Pulling on weapon banners is a little bit tough. Hopefully it kind of remedies itself by being in Honkai where there's two different banners for both weapons. I don't actually know how this works. Is this still like a 75 whatever the hell or is this still or is this a 50-50? Please, please let me know. But, but yeah, is it, is it worth going for that one? Or is just the one I have here good enough? Yeah. Okay, we can equip that. Uh, we can level him up a bit. I grinded a few XP books when I kind of had nothing to do. Oh, hey, look at that. I, ha I have some of these. I don't know where I got this. I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm not going to turn them down. Do that. And then we can't descend them because we need more of these. Where do I get these? Simulated Universe Embers Exchange, which I think is... Yeah, it's this. I don't know if I really want to... I could. I could just do this. I think it's kind of stupid to do. How much How much would I waste? Oh, hold up. That's like nothing. Wait. I kind of want to do that. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think I made a good decision. Wait, I also, I also need these, don't I? I'm not going to buy these because they're more expensive plus... I'm not 100% about them yet. I think those might be for his traces. But it's like, where are the upgraded versions of this? Do, do, do they not have those here? I don't think they have those here. Is it here? No. Okay, well, hey. Guess not. All right, so I might have wasted a lot of star glitter. It's not called star glitter here. I'm going to call it star glitter. No, wait. Star dust. It's star... I I'm just going to shut up now. There we go. We level him up more. Oh, wait. I, I, got, I got scared. I, I can just craft them. We do this. That's all. We level them up again. And I think one more time is good. I need four more of those. There we go. Four more. Gonna send that. That's that should be on par with the rest of them. I'm still gonna max the leveling here. Collect the two rewards. Probably not use them for a bit. There we go. Ah, dude, I kind of want to level up his light cone but then what if the comments tell me it is worth it i'm just gonna waste a bunch of materials on this uh i might just do it i might just do it right yeah maybe hold up oh, okay either way this doesn't use the same materials like at all so it doesn't matter cool still doesn't mean i'm not wasting like credits and xp oh my god i don't have any xp <laughs> i'm so broke on this i forgot to grind for this so i forgot that unlike genshin you can actually do like calyxes for these do that oh we need one one more of these i think i can craft it probably need four more of those one one more of this more of that and then four more of these nice the very least i've been grinding a few of those things so not much to worry there i'd rather not dip into the 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 tears things, I don't really know how rare those are, and I don't want to risk it. Ah, this will take, take a while. And there we go. <laughs> That's a lot of materials <laughs> that I don't want to grind for. Okay, we got that. We got his 
level up. Unfortunately, I don't know how many of the traces we're going to be able to do. I don't even know which ones are good for him, technically. I'm going to do this one and then all these like once. Does that sound good? I think that sounds good because I don't have any of this. I think this might be in Pinnacle. Oh, wait, hold up. I can... I can just come here and do this if I really want to. I might I might do this off camera a bit later. Okay, okay. Oh, that's what they do. You know what, Genshin should really do this. So if I'm understanding correctly, they open up the material of the five-star character that's currently on the banner for a limited time for people to, you know, grind for them instead of waiting until they get to that point in the game. I don't know, man. Seems pretty smart. I, I'm i sorry, Hook. You're going to have to take a back seat for a little bit. <laughs> as much as I do like you, unfortunately, you are the least built out of these four characters. So I got to be smart with my decision here. I right, welcome to the team. What do you do? You drop money on people. That's what it seems like. Is that a dice? Is he rolling a nat 20? See, basic attack, just regular imaginary damage. Skill provides a fortified wager shield that can block damage equal to whatever the hell. When fortified wager is gained, which is the shield thing. Oh, when it's gained repeatedly, the shield effect can stack up to 200% of the current shield effect. Okay, that's pretty good. This seems like a strong shield. This provides all allies, though. It's just like, use the skill, every ally has shield now. That seems kind of broken. Doesn't, like, Jappar do that, but with his ultimate? <laughs> that, that, that's kind of mean. Ultimate. Let me gains one to seven points of blind bet. Inflicts unnerved on a single target. Okay, I don't know what that is. Apply that for three turns, and then deals imaginary damage equal to this of his defense. When an ally hits an unnerved enemy target, the crit damage dealt increases by... Okay, okay, so it's just like a... Unnerved, I'm assuming, is like a... This enemy is going to take more damage now. Talent. Uh, this is like his passive, right? Oh, there's a lot of words. Hold up. Let me... My brain is not braining right now. Okay, so with the skill, they just gain more effect resistance as well. When they get attacked, adv adventuring gets one point of blind bet, which is what he does here, right? Okay, we still know what blind bet is, though. There's four five wager. You can resist crowd control debuffs, which is amazing for the Kafka fight. I've been struggling on that a little bit in the... In a simulated universe. I tried this morning and I could not do it. Okay, so he gains one point after, after being attacked. So when allies get attacked or people with fortified wager get attacked, he gains one point. And then when he gets attacked, he gets one, one, one point. That's, okay, that's a lot of points. One reason, seven points. Consumes a seven points to launch a seven hit follow-up attack. Each hit dealing imaginary damage equal to whatever the hell of his defense. Blind, but it's kept the ten points. Okay, I think I get it. So he's like a shielder, but like also kind of a buffer, kind of a sub DPS if you build him correctly. So yeah, he just wants a bunch of defense, which is good because that's what I got him. Got him this, got him some gloves, and by glove I mean a ring. I got him this nice chest plate, which I mean it has some crit rate, it's nice. And then I got him some boots. From what I'm seeing, I think this should just be crit rate and speed, but... I'm not that lucky. And then I got him some of this. Uh, I didn't get him anything good. I could just do imaginary damage, but I'm assuming he wants defense. So I'm going to so I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to give him this one. These two things don't match. But we take what you can get, okay? <laughs> now let me level these up a bit. I'm not going to go too hard on this because I don't want to waste all my materials. You're like six or nine for all of them. I think I think that should be good. Just 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 getting raw stats for now. I'm not gonna focus too much on optimizing them. I think it's a bit too early for that. Okay, okay. Nine, 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 and nine. I guess I could level up this one a little bit, like just like just a tiny bit. Just 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 to get some some health on him as well. Even though with the combination of Lua Chat having a bunch of healing, him having a bunch of defense, plus providing shields. Wouldn't really matter, and I don't have attack it matters as well. I think I think it's fine. So we have this Knight of Purity Palace. It's around two thousand defense. His attack is pretty mediocre. His crit rate's not good. But that's all I'm gonna do for now. <laughs> Idolons, let me just use her things here. We get to E5, unfortunately. We need one more. I'm sure we'll get it in the future. 
And I guess we can go test him out, honestly. I could probably try to do the World 4 in the simulated universe. I don't know if it's a proper test, but I do know I failed this in the morning. Oh wait, World 5, th this one. This one's the one I failed. Uh, I was trying to get to World 7 here, because I heard a uh, broken keel is, is good for him. So, so I was trying to get this. I have I have quite a few it immersifiers. I kind of got a few of these here that I haven't been able to pick up. So I want to be able to do this as soon as possible. Ideally before this thing ends in three days. I don't know how I don't know how likely that's gonna be. Also, please, if y'all know, tell me, please, please let me know what ornaments I need for each of my characters, because it's so hard to research this. I have so many characters, and I can't seem to focus on just one. Also, I don't think I'm quite strong enough to do these yet. I might just barely, but dude, it's tough. It's tough to do this. So I'm kind of stuck with these. All right, then. World 5. Let's see. Get rid of Hook here and put Aventurine. The reason I was struggling is because is if you see my previous team, Ice, Lightning, and Fire, Kafka isn't any of those besides Imaginary, and Luocha wasn't doing enough. I think of entering with a 7-hit follow-up attack should be pretty good on that, hopefully. But yeah, I, I was struggling. I got I got hit with that combination. It was over for me. What do we want? I like Nihility because Serval can apply damage over time. Abundance is pretty good, but I know my Lua can heal well. Preservation is good as well. I'm going to do Abundance because it's new. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'll see y'all when I have something important to say. Hopefully not too often until the Kafka fight, because if y'all have seen this series, y'all know I can waste so much time on this on, on this universe. My god. I was, <laughs> okay, so coming back to this a little bit, I was actually reading the technique. You're you're telling me his technique is just a chance for one of these to happen? What, what the hell? I guess his whole thing's kind of just luck. It's like, all right, so if you use this, you have a chance for any of these. If you use your ultimate, you'll gain one to seven. My God. Okay. Okay. Let's try here. How many? How many did I did I get? I got twenty four. I think I got unlucky. <laughs> Damn. All right, back to it. Alright, we're finally here. I think that went pretty well, to be honest with you. Just from the little observations I made from my trip along the simulated universe, it seems that this team does have a lot more sustainability. It's a lot harder for them to just get, like, one-tapped. However, I do think I might be losing a little bit of damage. I can't quite tell, though, because to be honest with you, Hook didn't do that much damage to begin with, so... Everything might be fine. Now let's just hope the crowd control effect actually works. I don't know if it's only for adventuring or for the whole team. You know what? Let's not do auto. I think that's stupid. Or I can just get... Alright, that, that that that's fine. You dispel debuffs, right? Let's go! Wait. Alright, ability. When adventuring has fortified wager, he can resist crowd control debuffs. So he needs to do a skill in order to do that. Alright. I need to make sure they... They work well together, Luodsha and Aventurine, because other uh, otherwise I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed here. <laughs> Need to make sure either he's healing their debuffs or or Aventurine's keeping them up with shields so they can resist that crowd control. So need to do a lot of their ultimates, make sure that they're attacking constantly because she's only really weak to imaginary. I was hoping to get that little card that has a chance of giving them an ice debuff, which is really good, but I didn't get it unfortunately. Here, I can get the shields up with this. Pretty good. Nice. That doesn't do anything, because I'm shielded. I don't think I have to do anything here, so I, so I can just attack. Uh, this just takes so much, like, <laughs> micromanaging, it seems like. Here, like, like with Aventurine, I have to always make sure I do his skill. So he doesn't have any chance to attack unless it's his ultimate or his follow-up attack. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I can just do these two. Uh, I should have probably waited on those until she was weakness broken. It's fine. Would have done a bit more damage, but it's too late for that. Okay, okay. So here I have to now do this. And then shield this, unfortunately, so I can't attack her. So I need these shields back up. 
Oh, that, that, there we go. The follow-up attack did it. Shields back up. Just just get a bunch of skill points here. I'm gonna gonna spend the time to, to do that. Cause then I can do this. Eh, I should, again, again, I should probably wait on those. I think I, I think I'm jumping the gun too early. On everything. She was almost done with this life. I could have saved those for when she got her next life and weakness broken that instead. It's fine. That should do it. Okay, let me get the shields back up. I always have the abundance resonance here though, just in case I need some last minute healing. I think I want to get rid of this debuff from Serval. She's she she is getting a hit a hit a lot. And I can put the shields back up. Do his ultimate here. Ooh, Serval. Come on. Do both of these ultimates. That should bring her shield down quite low. It's such a shame that both my supports are are the only ones who can actually do anything. I do this to refresh the shock. Nice. Do that and then his ultimate. That should take her out. It did not take her out. I have to get rid of the dominate. Oh my god, they both have dominate. Oh no. I can shield this. It's not going to do much. Honestly, I might have to... I might have to use the abundance thing because I don't want Luisha dying. One hit. Come on. Come on. There we go. No. All right. Cool. That should kill. Oh, no. 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 Come on. I should have just used it. I should have just used it. Oh, I'm so upset. It takes me so long to get back here. I don't want to do it again. Oh, I feel so stupid. Okay. Well, need to do shields. can do this. Okay, Yanqing is out of the dominate thing. I think it's dangerous, but so long as I can keep the shield up, I might be okay. Yeah, the issue is I can't heal Serval. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not winning this. Is that the dominate? It, it is. All right, I think, I, th I think that's it. I don't see myself winning this. Oh, last minute break, but that's not gonna do anything because I don't have skills. I don't have access to my DPS character. This does nothing for me. Can do the abundance, which will heal a little bit, but it's not enough. Nope. All right, he's dead. Oh, I should have just used it. I should have just used it. Yep. All right. That's a shame. Okay, it was probably a bit too early to try to, to try taking that one on. Get all these at least. All right. Well, I think that should be it for now. Bit of a shorter episode, I know, but I just kind of wanted to get adventure in, kind of level him up a little bit, and then focus on actually optimizing him later once I get more input from the comments, obviously. As most of you might know from my many mentions of this, I'm not a Honkai person, so, <laughs> so my first time playing this game is doing this challenge. Most of what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing for the first time, as surprising as that might be. So yeah, please, uh, if you guys are fans of Aventurian, please feel free to let me know your opinions on how to build him, what to do if I'm playing him wrong or something. Also, I mean, here here's my character lineup in, in, in case I'm not using a proper team for him. I have, a, I have an E0 Yan Ching, E5 Serval, I have an Aventurian E0, Luocha E0. I'm also using an E4 Xing Shui, E1 Hook. And I have access to an E6 Lynx and an E0 Arlen. Those are the characters I'm allowing myself for now. As for future characters, uh, the guaranteed one is for sure Jepard here. If I get him, I will use him. And then some of the more questionable ones, arguable ones, since I use Ito in the Genshin challenge, it would be Clara. Do the just pure white hair. And Jin Yuan. Again, just pure white hair. I think Topaz could work as well, but this one starts getting into the realm of, like, people are going to start arguing too much, so I'm not going to think about it right now, okay? So, yeah. Uh, I thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all later.